happy to be back on the air. This is 99X at 97.9. Uh, it is everything alternative 99X. Uh, I am uh, BJ Kennard. Uh, Lewis is to my right, even though the crowd here can see it. Crowd, yell something. <laughs> But they're really here to see. They're really here to see uh, one S.A. Martinez and one Peanut from 311. Welcome, guys. Hey. Yeah, uh, this week, uh, you guys just got a chance to meet some of our listeners uh, backstage uh, just a couple minutes ago, correct? Yes, we did. Uh, They had to answer 311 trivia to do it. That's why a couple of the bulletin boarders were on there. Yeah, and and one thing I will say. They know everything. They knew two things I did not know, and I'm not afraid to tell you this. They knew your first name and yours, first and last for you. I knew your last Wikipedia. name. Wikipedia. Well, that was on the spot. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. So does that make me a bad fan owning the albums but not knowing the true names of S.A. and Peanut? No, because you can play the music on the radio, and they, that's, that that's a power okay. that they don't have. That's, that's right. right. Yeah, so, I mean, does, that, does it discount or make it more, better for someone who does know, uh, you know the, the little intricacies of you guys? It's nice. And it's thoughtful, but it doesn't make or break a fan. Right. I can see all that happens. Yeah. yeah, but I was impressed with some of the stuff that these guys knew. Because you guys have been around for a super long time, uh, which is excellent at this point. Is there anything at this point in your career that you still want to do that's up there? Like, I don't know. What, what would it be? Buy an island? <laughs> I think Nick already did that. Yeah. yeah, he spoiled it for the rest of us. Yeah. Can't do that now. Yeah, because you guys have a nice career so far. Is there something that's, that's still on the list? I want an international plaque. I want a plaque from anywhere but the United States. Not that you know we're spoiled for having success over here, but it's yeah, a perfect d- perfect day to say it on Independence Day, right? That's right. But a, pl- a plaque from Canada would be so cool. A plaque from Australia would be great. You know, the music's too good not for it to be an international thing. Does a day like today it doesn't have a plus and minuses of being awesome because you're playing, but sucking because you're not with your family? It, it can be bittersweet, you know, sometimes. But, it, you know, coming here is always in a pleasure. And um, Atlanta has always has been a welcoming city for us. and It's the life we chose. And it is the life we chose. <laughs> they, they love you. They love you. I was actually out in the parking lot talking to some of the fans. What is the craziest tattoo you, have, you guys have seen of 311 on one of your fans? There's full back pieces yeah. up on... Uh, up on the MySpace 311 tattoo page, which is pretty interesting. There, there's always people adding to it. It's, it makes you feel a little guilty sometimes. Like right. people are, you know, people are going to be with that for the rest of their lives. But it's also like a responsibility thing. Like we're gonna, we're gonna keep the music great and keep touring and get along even when me and Essay don't want to get along. And we it just work, it works out. Out sometimes? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Who wins? Please. It's a ver- <laughs> I got the reach. You got the, the speed, though. Yeah. See, son, yeah. speed kills. <laughs> right. One thing I was curious about. Tell me the, 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 I guess the real main difference from F the BS, it's time to throw down, right? To it's all right. What's what? Ooh. Where's where's the butterfly in the middle? Where did the cocoon happen? And it's all right's the butterfly. Uh, it's all. I mean, there's slap bass in both of those. <laughs> that's the that's the that's the core. There's great great lyrics, great 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 band playing both songs. It just shows our range. You know, we can we can do anything we want, and we will. You know, this time around we worked with uh, Bob Rock and right. um, noted rock producer. Yeah, he was um, someone that came along at the right time for us, and a seasoned veteran producer, and really. He, you know, helped guide the album to uh, to what it became, and and um, so I think a lot. You know, we owe him. You know, for this this record, and uh, but you know, really, it's um, it's a maturation process, and you know, as we you know age and and um, you know have more experiences under our belt. I mean, it's just it's just uh, you know, it's a, a natural extension of of what we become you know and are becoming and and um so i think uh i think uplifter is a really good indication of where we're at right now and where we're headed well, how do you guys how do you guys decide who's going to take lead vocals on some of the tracks um well that's just uh it it's a process and in, in in and of itself and um when things surface how they surface that's you know something that evolves, you know, 
how it evolves, I guess. Right. There really isn't a, uh, you know, you know, uh, uh, I, I don't know. Like, like a plan? A, yeah. It's not a formula? There is not a strategy, so to speak. So, um, but I think uh, overall, you know, through the years, I mean, there's a great balance of everything, you right. know, of every, everyone's strengths. And, um, and that's really the focus, I think, of 311. Last, uh, last double party question. All right. Peanut. It's tricky. Yes. Mm, it's a good one. We'll figure out who can go first or second. Are you guys familiar with VH1 Rock Honors? Uh, the way the program works is someone's being honored. Like the Who was the last one. Before the Who takes the stage later on, bands play before them to pay tribute because they have to. They love the Who so much, they have to, and they're playing one of their songs. So a tribute's happening for somebody, and you both have to answer this, different answers. Who do you have to pay tribute to, and what song do you perform of theirs? I thought you were going to say, what bands would we want to pay tribute to us? Well, that's, that's the second part. Wait a minute, don't jump ahead, that's don't actually, jump ahead. That's, actually that's, two. That's, that's the show I'm interested that's, in. There we go. <laughs> that's actually part two. So, uh, S.A., uh, who do you have to pay tribute to and what song are you doing? You know, uh, two weeks ago, you know, when we get ready for the show, I, I love to play, you know, we all play music and we, you know, have our favorites of what we like to choose in order to get ourselves hyped up, so to speak, for the show. Right. So a couple weeks ago, I realized all of my Michael Jackson was on vinyl, and I hadn't converted any of it. So I had just bought the essential Michael Jackson on iTunes, you know, a week prior to him passing. So, you know, with the timing, I would say Michael Jackson. I mean, it was go. there. You go. Much respect. Right. Much respect. It's such a great, great musical legacy, and um, have always. I mean, I was an off the wall. That was like my record, you know, right. when yeah. I was yeah. growing up. When he was black, that's when he was down. And yeah, it's and true. It's true. Working day and night's always been like right. that. Was a song I really wanted to, you know, to download, and so. But um, and actually, that wasn't on the essential. So I had to buy. I bought both off the wall and the essential. But um, yeah, I would so work on day and night. That'd be the so song. So that's the song you do. All right. Hell yeah! All right, Peanut. Uh, what's going to be your answer for you got to pay tribute too? Um, they haven't done one for Led Zeppelin, so I think that would be that would be pretty All good. Right. I mean, because we've got we've got a damn good rhythm section. We've got great vocalists. So I hear. Yeah. So what song are you doing? Lots of range. Um, I don't know. I didn't think that far. They've only got a couple of hits. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> so. Anything but Stairway to Heaven. Easy enough. There you go. All right, so the, a whole lot of love. A second heel. half, whole lot of love would be nice. Yeah. Uh, I think you guys could rock out Cashmere like a mofo. Yeah, Cashmere would be great. Uh, so the second half, now 311 is being paid tribute to. What band do you want to see in front of you, and what song do you want them to do? Peanut, you want to go first? Go Deftones. First. See, Deftones. Yeah. There have, you go, there you go. Have the Deftones do come original. All right, so we got uh, Deftones. S.A. Martinez? I'd say the band Phoenix. Phoenix, brand yeah. new, out of, out of France. Yeah, they've been around for a bit, actually. Right, but uh, new to the, uh, to the lay public, because they're just now starting to hit radio. Uh, what song would you want them to do? I would have them do... Um, Don't Dwell, how about that? Yeah? yeah. Works for Whoa. me. Guys, S.A. Martinez, Peanut from 311. Gentlemen, thank you for stopping by. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a good time tonight. Good it's question. Not, thank you, guys. It's 99X.